think it's more of a tune-up for these last few practices. Continuing to build that chemistry on the field. It's a constant competition, it's battles back and forth, so it's going to be really nice to face someone else. There's just this level of intensity, there's some hunger there. And then I know we're super excited to just get on the field wearing the uniform. We're excited to play other people and see everything that we've been working on this whole fall uh, take place come February 8th. We did what needed to be done. We did the three-peat, we set the records, we made history. This year is more about celebrating one another. There's nothing that can break this group. And it's about playing with a lot of joy, being present every single moment. The biggest honor is just to continuously grow the sport. Every single year, there's just more and more people watching it. We have set the standard, and there is something beautiful in that. It's going to take everything we got, and we have to work really hard for it. Everyone here likes that grind, and they like that can-they-do-it type mentality. And we're always out to prove it. So I started coming to FCA my sophomore year and I just fell in love with it. I thought it was a beautiful environment to be part of. Uh, in the summer, I had came across a previous event on another campus and I had saw how it went viral, um, just giving their life to Jesus. And I immediately thought like this should happen at OU. Ignite OU is an opportunity for college students at OU to experience the gospel, to be seen not only by the Lord, but by the people around them and an opportunity to come to Christ or maybe come back to Jesus. Just to use this generation to ignite a fire here in Norman and maybe to other campuses across the country. I didn't know what that was gonna look like at the time. And um, it was super small idea, honestly. And I just kind of was a little naive in the process, thinking like, oh, I could plan an event with a couple thousand kids. I have currently been working with Jeremy Timms, JT through FCA. He's a big personality, amazing guy, I love him to death. And I came to him with this event idea. He just kind of took the idea and said, let's do it, like let's get to work. I think FCA was just a really big launching pad for the Revival Night, not only just with the support system, but they've also taken the opportunity to be our partner within the event. She's got big dreams, but she's not backing down and she's become an entrepreneur with this and really has learned that she's going to have to make phone calls and follow-ups and so forth. She's running with this and it's pretty cool to see her do that. I've kind of grown to love the administrative part of it and I think the championship mindset has kind of been brought into all of this because I'm just very attentive to the details, um, constantly bugging people in a way, just trying to get things done and having to have some really um, important meetings with the higher ups here at OU. The schedule has definitely been a little daunting. It's been a challenge to kind of make time in between lift, class, practice. So I've kind of just been taking any window I can, but I think just the time management of it and really kind of allowing myself to stay grounded through the process too has been a good learning experience for me and to really keep my priorities straight. Coach Gasso has been a lot of help with just checking in on me. How are you doing? Like, it's there's a lot on your plate. How are you? Um, so I think it's been nice to have her in my corner and to also have the team. I talk with our athletes about being more than softball players. And if I am standing behind that, then I need to stand behind who they are. I wouldn't have the opportunities that I have and the reach that I have without playing at the University of Oklahoma, but I think a lot of people, obviously they love to watch us play, but I think they really love our personalities and just the way that we carry ourselves. My life has changed drastically. Ever since I got to OU, I think God definitely brought me here for a reason. I'm starting to see if they have plain bagels. Do you have plain bagels? It's gonna be lunch, but now it's breakfast. Perfect. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. I don't usually come here unless we have weights, but now I'm trying to make it be kind of my spot so I don't have to go home. I'm in my undergrad, psych major, and then I'm gonna try and get my master's, uh, my MBA. I'm from California, like Bay Area. Okay, now we'll go to the massage room. Okay, we're doing massage chair ASMR. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> this is so embarrassing. So we come in here, we have the opportunity to, you know, come in here and use the massage chairs. I'm doing it in between class, just kind of, I chose the recovery option for a week away, so trying to get my body feeling as good as it can. I don't know, and it just feels good. <laughs> Okay, so I had my capstone class earlier for psych, and then now I'm going to my coding class. Honestly, usually I scooter to this class, but I don't want to make you get on a scooter. <laughs> oh, I love the campus. I love the brick. It's just so pretty. Yeah, it's a pretty campus. Makes it easier to go to class, I guess. <laughs> that and Coach Gasso. Say hello, we're doing a day in my life. Can you zoom in on Tiari? Sorry. <laughs> Bye. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me on a day in my life as an OU softball player. I think it's just very cool that this is my last year and I'm doing it here at the best program to play college softball. I'm just trying to soak up every minute, not take one for granted. I know that national championships aren't given, that they're earned, so it's going to take everything we got and we're going to have to work really hard for it. The season means a lot. We're graduating a lot of seniors. This is a big legacy year for us. It's been really competitive at practice, obviously, probably the best competition um, coming up. So. We're excited to be out there on the field playing against somebody else. We're all super antsy and eager to not play each other. We're just really trying to get finishing touches, get game ready, um, and then it's go time from there. Let's do it. Let's go. Nothing to lose. Just have fun. 